Hello again folks and welcome to another episode of What Have You Been Buying Now? Now when posed with that question this morning by my dearest wife, um, I had to reply absolutely nothing because both these packages were sent to me free of charge. Now having tried to navigate the myriad of rules and regs on uh, YouTube, I, I'm just going to err on the side of the caution and state that one of these packages was sent to me by a UK based business free of charge. Um, so yeah, there it's out there, I've, I've said it. Um, We'll cover that in more detail when we open the package. But firstly, uh, we're going to open this package. Um, this was sent in to me by Grandad Pop or Graham. He's one of my subscribers and um, I actually missed his message. It was sent when I hit 1500 subscribers uh, and he basically said, Congratulations, Chris. Um, I've got a little kit. Would you like to send it? Uh, would you like me to send it to you for you to build on the channel and yeah I said thanks very much a very kind of you and uh, it arrived this morning so we'll go ahead and take a look inside um, he did say he'd put another couple of bits and pieces in there so yeah let's go ahead and, and have a look so yeah thanks very much Graham uh, for taking the time and of course the money out of your own pocket to, to send this to me Nose attack, light up your life. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's just go through what we've got. We've got a couple of, um, or a couple, I, say, I should say four. Um, what are those? 8x8 LED matrix. Um, I don't know if it's one that's probably based on one of the Max chips. Um, and you can obviously link these together to make up a little... Um, oh, that little jumper's broken there. Um, yeah, you can network these to, to make, obviously make a display up. Um you know, for uh, message boards and stuff like that. Uh, we have micro SD card adapter. Um, got some good old RMA two two three, the old Amtech Flux. Um, I don't know if this is the genuine stuff or, or the, the sort of copy stuff that I generally use. Um, oh yeah, I think it's a fake stuff because they say known K N O. Um, and, um, but it, it does work, it's, it's actually very good. Um, what else have we got? Flying Fish, that looks like a infrared transmitter receiver, so that's probably going to be a sort of type of proximity sensor. A uh, couple of those, oh no it's not, that's a microphone, another little sensor module. Got some solder wick, 2mm wide. Got some more solder wick. That's awesome. I, I need to get some solder wick. Um, another infrared sensor. Looks like another microphone based one. We've got an Arduino shield, um, keypad shield with the uh, presumably HD44780 LCD module, the Hitachi chipset. Um, some seven segment. Um, LED displays. We've got a couple of ultrasonic sensors, you know, distance sensors. A couple of PIR modules. Um, I do have one of these. Uh, I was going to do a review on it, but I haven't got around to it yet. So we've got a couple of the uh, LiPo uh, 18650 battery chargers with a micro SD. Again, I've reviewed these. Um, pretty good little boards, actually. You can get these very, very cheaply. And what else do we have? A couple of relay modules. A couple of, sort of PlayStation 3 style um, joysticks. A little, uh, you know, tactile switch in the middle for your, your sort of third button if you like. Yeah, a couple of those. We've got a couple of ESD tweezers. And these actually look reasonable quality. Not too bad at all. That's a finer point there. And um, we've got a kit. So I'll just get that box out of the way. And uh, this is the kit that uh, Graham sent in. 
Let's have a look and see what's inside. Is it screwed together? Ah, there we go. It is um, a, a persistence of vision clock kit. Um, there was no instructions, Graham said. Um, I have had a look about online and um, yeah, there's, there's, there's basically zero instructions. So this is going to uh, make a little video, uh, hopefully, uh, of me essentially trying to work out how it goes together. Looks fairly straightforward. Well, I say fairly straightforward. We've got a couple of coils in there for for transferring power to the you know the the rotating arm, um, and there's a bit there are actually very few uh, through hole components. So we'll we'll have a blast at um at making that. I suppose the challenge when you're building this type of kit is the surface mount soldering aspect. So we've got um one two three four. Four dueling line packages and uh, maybe sort of 15, uh, 12 or 15 uh, LEDs on there. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a go at building this uh, in a future video and um, see how it, how it works or if it works. Um, only time will tell. But yeah, thank you very much, Graham. That is extremely generous of you. When you said you'd sent a, a couple of Arduino sensors, I didn't actually anticipate having so much stuff from you. Uh, but that is indeed very very kind of you and i certainly will make uh, good use of all that so we'll quickly pop all this back in the box and get it out of the way fantastic yeah much obliged here <clears throat> okay so the next package we're going to open is this one here now this was sent from um, Mindsets UK Limited. Um, that is the fulfilment agent agent of Redfern Electronics. Now you may have seen my little video I did on uh, Crumble, um, which is a little uh, microcontroller board aimed at this educational sector, children, you know, educational sector. Um, really fantastic little board. Um, and what I did was I contacted uh, Joseph and Helen over at Redfern and basically asked, uh, you know, really pleased with your board. Um, would you be interested in sending me some other bits and pieces uh, for me to review? So in terms of the disclaimer, I actually approached them. They didn't approach me. So this is uh, it's an unbiased review. I, I, you know, I'm already genuinely impressed with this. Um, but yeah, I've not been paid to promote this. It's just literally they've supplied them free of charge um, but yeah brilliant little board um, just to point out uh, somebody was asking me what the the interface is on you know these uh, these boards uh, and quite simply it is designed to accept you know standard mini crocodile clips that is the the connection method um, all the parts are interconnected with crocodile clips I suppose if um, you know if you do want to make a permanent installation then you could of course solder directly uh, onto these gold plated um, uh, pads if you like so let's go ahead and see what's inside so I've absolutely no idea um, it comes in a jiffy bag so let's get it open Okay, right, well, so we've got a couple of uh, packages. So we've got the Crumble Starter Pack. Oops. So if memory serves me correctly, this should be a Crumble, um, a battery pack and some leads. Yeah, so there we go. So we've got our um, battery pack, which takes, um, as you can see, takes three uh, AA batteries. Uh, and the clips just go onto the pads here. And we've got a little... Um, little uh, switch does also have a, a short indication uh, I don't know how that works probably just uh, yeah not sure but yeah if it, if the batteries are shorter then it will indicate there's a short and tell you to check the connections I, pr I would presume got a little um, micro USB to standard uh, USB A lead get a lot of so what have we got three yellow yeah twelve short uh, alligator to uh, alligator clips or crocodile clips, whatever you want to call them. Not too bad. We have a push button switch, nice tactile uh, surface mount switch there. 
and in the starter kit bag, you know, the actual crumble itself. We have another crumble and two of these um, sparkles which are the addressable, I forgot the, the number now, but the, the addressable uh, RGB LEDs uh, which you may have seen me uh, use before when I was showing you the, the crumble kit. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, I do have another bag of stuff there which we'll just open in a second. I'll pop all this uh, away. And like I say, we will be doing a video on Crumble very, very shortly. So in the bag, get lots of bits and pieces. We've got an ultrasonic um, sensor and a mat on there, which uh, which contacts or terminals go to which on the on the board. We have an LDR light dependent resistor. We've got a pixel, is it pixel strips they call these. Again, we've got it's um, eight addressable. Um, there we go. Sorry, pixel uh, sparkle button. Eight addressable RGB LEDs. And we have a small servo um, with the uh, associated uh, hardware. You know, little uh, various types of arms for different applications. Um, Tower Pro SG ninety two are quite a common servo. Um, those ones, but yeah, that's that's what we got from Redfern. So thank you very much uh, to Joseph and Helen, as I've already mentioned. Um, I will be doing a video on this uh, in the near future. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do with this kit, based on what you can see in front of me, um, then do please let me know, and we'll, we'll have a go at it. Um, the the Crumble software is absolutely superb, really intuitive, absolutely fantastic for um, you know the youngsters not to get involved with. So yeah, absolutely spot on. Like I say, not a paid promotion. They've just sent me these uh, to to have a look and a play about with. So uh, yeah, no problems there. Well, folks, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. And um, as always, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, please click on the fat head here and subscribe. Until next time, many thanks for watching and all the best.